Hi, welcome to freetradingvideos.com. This is T5. Today I want to review a trade CHDX and what I want to do is show you guys how to use a smaller time frame to control your risk throughout a trade. Now here we have a basic pullback setup in a nice uptrending stock. The one thing I want you to spot here is the new volume. You got to love when new participation comes into a stock. New participation hopefully brings in new buyers. So how we structured this trade is we went ahead and placed an order so that if buyers came back into the market enough to break this high here, we'd give this stock a shot. Now if it started going south on us, we were going to use this small swing low here as our protection point. Let's use the daily chart to kind of fine tune this risk. As you can see on this first day, we have this great volume bar and a huge move up in the stock. This is a perfect example of what you wish happened every trade. Such a big move up, what I'm going to do is move my stop from this lower section up to my magical break even point. I love this because now I have no risk on the trade, plus I have the potential to make more money. As happy as I'm ever going to get. So as the trade keeps going, not too much happens here. And again, I'm patient given the fact I have none of my money at risk. As it sits here and goes along, you'll see it does just another classic example of a pullback play. Again, higher swing highs and higher swing lows, they're in place here. So as it kind of moves along, we get another big day up. Now, I'm trying to be loose here because I am playing it on the weekly basis. But after that big of a day up, again with the huge volume bar down here, I'm going to take this opportunity to go ahead and remove some of the risk from the trade. So I'm going to move my stop from this red line up to this point. Again, just capturing some of those profits. As the trade continues on, again trying to be loose here, you'll see that once again it gives you another window of opportunity. As it moves up there, I'm going to use this opportunity again to capture some of those profits. Let's see how it keeps going. Puts in what we refer to as a bearish harami for all you candlestick people it stopped out the following day. And again, I always recommend waiting a couple weeks before you review a trade too much. Here I've drawn a line from the very beginning of the trend to the very end of the trend. Now as you can see, the stock had one more final push up, which again was another window of opportunity for you trading on this time frame, and then it f started faltering. It looks like we caught a pretty good little piece of the pie here, and again, controlled our risk using the smaller time frame. I hope this helped you out with your trading. And again, feel free to view more great videos at freetradingvideos.com.